Well, a Hamas delegation arrived in Cairo on Sunday to pursue the next round of negotiations, trying to strike a deal that could potentially result in a six-week temporary ceasefire. Uh, Israel, though, deciding not to send a delegation to this latest round of negotiations. An Israeli official telling us that that's because Hamas has yet to provide a list of the Israeli hostages who would be released under the first phase of this agreement. Israel is also waiting for confirmation of the number of Palestinian prisoners that Hamas would demand be released in exchange for those Israeli hostages. But there are deferring accounts of exactly what the current sticking point is to arrive at an agreement. Uh, a senior Hamas source telling us that uh, they see the major sticking points as Israel refusing to agree so far to a path to a permanent ceasefire, questions over the withdrawal of Israeli troops from Gaza, and also the return of displaced people from uh, northern Gaza for them to be able to return uh, to their homes. Now, as all of this is happening, we are getting uh, an increasingly clearer picture of the dire humanitarian situation in the Gaza Strip, particularly as it relates to hunger and malnutrition. The Palestinian Ministry of Health now says that 15 children have now died of malnutrition and dehydration in northern Gaza, several of those over just the last few days. At Kamala Dwan Hospital in northern Gaza, they say that there are fears of six more children reaching a similar fate. The uh, UNICEF, in the meantime, is calling for urgent action, saying that there is a need for multiple, what they call reliable entry points into Gaza. And that's because we know that there are only two points where aid is getting into Gaza right now, from Egypt into Gaza via that Rafah crossing, and from Israel into Gaza via the Kerem Shalom crossing in the southern part of the Gaza Strip. But there are no crossing points that Israel has opened so far allowing aid to go directly from Israel into northern Gaza, and that has been one of the major focuses now. We are seeing multiple countries stepping up their efforts to get more humanitarian aid into the Gaza Strip, including the United States on Saturday, uh, airdropping 66 bundles containing 38,000 meals from three different U.S. military aircraft. But that's just a drop in the bucket compared to the overall need. And those airdrops, while we're seeing more of them and more countries engaging in them, it really speaks to a failure of the overall ability to get humanitarian aid into northern Gaza. And that's because getting aid into Gaza via these airdrops, it is costly, it is inefficient, it can also be potentially risky. Humanitarian aid officials say the real need is to allow more entry points and get that aid in via trucks on land directly into northern Gaza. Jeremy Diamond, CNN, Tel Aviv.